most ma amazing cycle was on the mid 70s when we had the, you're five minutes from the harbor and catching salmon, salmon, silver salmon, king salmon, and bluefin tuna at the same time. And that one, one day we had probably 30, 30 of each. How big were the tuna? How big were the salmon? The tuna that year, most of them I'd say average anywhere between about 22, 25 pounds. Yeah. And Joe Schilling was running the mascot four. He had one bite, I think, off of uh, Haggerty's down off Torrance Beach. I think he had close to 100. I Guess think. who the deckhand on that trip was? Who? You? You're looking at him. Huh. Eddie, Eddie, Leland Eddie Leland had worked like 40 yeah. straight days. He was way, and he had to take a day off. Yeah. And Joe came over to me and said, hey, I need a deck. And I had yeah. no idea yeah. what I was doing. On the bait tank, kid. Throw the bait yeah. where I tell you to throw it. And then at the end of the trip, he put me in the wheelhouse and he goes, here's how you run the boat. I'm going to go clean fish. Here, you just make circles. Just a reminder, everybody, you can help support the Freeman Adventures YouTube channel by buying some merch, like a hat or a shirt. You can do that by going to embroiderycreations.net. Really appreciate all you do for the Freeman Adventures YouTube channel. Thanks, everybody. Hey, good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Carson, California. I'm at Island Fishing Tackle this morning because I got a whole bunch of stuff to do, and Sam De La Torre let me in early so I could tape the morning briefing for you all. It is really great to be back with you all. Hey, we've got a lot to cover with you. Will that big blue fan tuna get back in the picture, or are we doomed with some really inclement weather? Also, I sat down with Glenn Mueller, great ex-captain of the Redondo Special from 1974 to 2010, and we're releasing some of those shorts, and we'll have a lot more with Glenn. I started with Glenn in 74, down there on the Redondo Special, so we share a lot of great memories together. Stay tuned for more of that. And also, we're watching the surf, we're watching the offshore situation. We're watching it all down in Baja, California. You know what time it is. It's time for the morning briefing. Good Tuesday morning, my friends. Oh, does the coffee just taste better because I'm at Island Fishing Tackle? I don't know. Pretty darn good. Maybe it's Starbucks. Maybe the coffee I use at home doesn't uh, measure up but good stuff and great to be back with you all if you don't mind hit that like button we deeply appreciate it when you do that also if you would share these videos that would be great subscribe to the Friedman Adventures YouTube channel and if you get a chance tick that little bell you'll be notified when there's new content you can follow us also on TikTok for a little bit longer sounds like TikTok's going down the tubes also Instagram Facebook and, of course, Spotify and Apple Podcasts. We deeply appreciate your great support. Thank you for doing that. All right, let's jump into it. Take you south of the border. We'll go down to Lands in Cabo San Lucas, where the marlin bite has been extraordinarily good for the wintertime. And now we're into the spring. It has been really outstanding, mostly on the striped marlin. But we see an occasional sailfish down there also. If you get outside on a day that's not too windy and you find a pod of porpoise, you're also likely to encounter some yellowfin tuna. And the grade of that fish, sometimes it's 15 to 25, and other times it's 100 plus pound stuff. Also, closer in, find some Dorado and an occasional Wahoo. San Quentin, of course, we have all been dealing with weather for the past 48 plus hours or so. And that extends all the way down there, 140 miles below the border to San Quentin. Previous to this snotty weather, really good yo-yo iron, yellowtail fishing. Sometimes it was at 8 to 12 pound yellowtail. Other times it was at 15 to 25 plus pound forkage. Really beautiful grade of yellowtail. And it's been biting down there for several months. Not every single day, but it's been very consistent and steady down there at San Quentin. So that is really great news. And of course, if you strike out on the yellows or if you catch yellows, you can always load up 
on those colorful, great eating vermilions. The reds are biting down there, and so are the lingcod. We'll bounce you down below the border to Punta Calanet. That's 120 miles below the border, and down there we see some excellent rock fishing. Last boat that was down there was the Horizon. They had good vermilion fishing and also had some big Boccaccio and other species down in that neck of the woods. Previous to the weather, there's been some yo-yo iron yellowtail there. 85 miles below the border, Santo Tomas, little smattering of yellowtail, sometimes biting. We need the good weather again, of course, and good rock fishing. Ensenada, a mix of big bonita, good rock fish, excellent calico bass fishing around the Punta Banda area. We've even seen a halibut or two, some yellows. It's been really, really good. Most of those guys Pongueros out of Ensenada are making a left hand turn and going down the Baja coast to Santo Tomas, one of those points down there and fishing that zone. And it's been really good fishing down there. All right, let's get into this bluefin tuna situation. The last time anybody got out there, it was when they had a very short window on a full moon, which many times will have an adverse effect on the bluefin tuna bite. And all that combined to produce some rather slow fishing. So I think the Polaris Supreme was a highliner with six fish. Condor had some fish. That was a little bit here and there, but it wasn't anything to write home about. But we get it. Full moon, horrible weather. Let's not lose the forest for the trees because we saw some really outstanding fishing before that. And I think now we're on the right moon phase. All we need is some good weather and hopefully we're going to get it. It looks like it's going to be a little bit turbulent. We may have a little bit of a break midweek, and then it looks like it might blow up again with some rain in the forecast for the weekend. It's a little bit too far out there on the Wednesday morning briefing. We'll have a better look at that and be able to ascertain whether or not we think it'll be worth your while. But if we get back to that good weather, we surmise that that fish should start to bite. By the way, yesterday we said that Alan Sheridan had a fish 9-10 miles off Dana Point. I got that from Tom Holland and Tom says, Phil, I blew it. That was last year's report. So I want to let you know that. And that is not Tom Holland's fault. The buck stops here, right here. I should check those things out. And I thought, well, wait a minute. That does sound like last year, but I was in a hurry. And that's what you get when you're in a hurry. You don't check things out and you blow it. So I deeply apologize for that. And I will work hard to make sure that doesn't happen again. So back to that bluefin. It's been really beautiful. Great. In fact, a couple of those trips on the Polaris Supreme, they had that 80 to 180 pound fish. Better bite at night, but excellent fishing in the daytime. Also fly line bait sinker fish and kite fish. Fly line with 30 pound fluorocarbon seemed to have been working best of all. It was really good. Pacific Dawn had a couple of trips with double digits on the 100 plus pound blue fin tuna. I don't know how it can get any better than that. So we need the weather to come down. We need this weather to mellow out. And once it does, we're going to get back on that fish. And I've got my fingers crossed that April 4th through the 9th, we're going to get that kind of weather window because we're on the independence for a five-day trip that you can join us on. That should be fabulous. We do need the weather to cooperate. If it does look out, we should be able to put the wood to them. In that same area, there has been just a little bit of yellowfin tuna also. We saw the Tribute catch four yellowfin tuna, and we also saw the Polaris Supreme catch four. There's been some other fish caught down in that neck of the woods. Very unusual to catch yellowfin tuna in the month of March, anywhere in a 100-mile radius of San Diego, or mostly south, actually. But anywhere in that 100-mile area, it's very unusual. So does that portend things to come? Well, have to wait and see. Of course, water temperatures are going to be reduced here due to all this wind. But once again, we'll see as time plays out on that five-day trip. We may be able to run some distance down the Baja Peninsula and encounter that yellowfin tuna. And our long-range guys are coming back and forth from way down the peninsula. They're giving the info to Brian on the Independence. Of course, one of those boats, the Royal Polaris, is down below, and they've had great yellowfin tuna fishing. So we've seen nothing short of really excellent YFT fishing on board the Royal Polaris. They've also had some good Wahoo fishing, and every once in a while they'll fish grouper and some other stuff like that to have some fun. So really great trip on the RP right now. So excellent fishing going on. Southern California in general, of course, rockfish opens up on April the 1st right now, sculpin, whitefish, and of course, halibut. Everybody's focused on that halibut. The last time the El Patron was at Catalina Island, they had a couple of halibut. Of course, the pride on their last trip, limits 
of white sea bass. They also had a few halibut in there and good white fish and sheep's head and calico bass. Excellent fishing there up and down the coast. We continue to see a little bit of a bite on the sheep head and white fish and all of that stuff. And again, hopefully rockfish season will be the salvation of everybody because man, everybody is looking forward to that, which I believe falls on a Monday or maybe a Tuesday. I'm not quite sure, but it's coming up soon, April the 1st, and it should be fantastic, I'll tell you that. Speaking of fantastic, up there on the island spirit, Ventura Sport Fishing, they've had great fishing on the sheephead and whitefish, excellent halibut signal, and they've been seeing sea bass up there when they've had decent weather. We're going to have to see if that weather lays down for them. You can get 20% off your ticket if you book before April 1st, if you call the landing, and most of the time, Sal will answer the phone. T tell Sal hello for Phil. And uh, all you got to do is mention preseason 20 for 20% off. If you're going to do it online, just put that in at checkout. Preseason 20, and you'll be ready to go and save 20% off. And that's for the rest of the year. If you plan your trips out and book before April 1st, you can save 20 big percent off your ticket price. Why wouldn't you want to do that? Take advantage of it right now while you can. Surf fishing's been pretty darn good, but again, we're dealing with some inclement weather. We had a grunion run last night. Yours truly was sleeping, so he didn't find out how that grunion went, uh, run went. But grunion moving up on the beaches, of course, attracts more predators. Been good barb perch fishing from down below the border. I'm talking all the way down to San Quentin, all the way up to Rosarito, Playa Bebe. Has been really good up there in Rosarito. And of course, down in San Quentin, Playa Socorro, and several others are really good zones. Good bar perch up and down the coast, all the way up to Ventura County line. And also, and beyond that, actually, north of that. And there's been some Corbina, there's been some yellowfin croaker, and there has been some decent halibut fishing also in the surf. So, really good stuff going on. And hopefully, that is going to continue throughout the rest of the week. We'll see what this weather is going to do. That is going to be the determining factor. Don't forget it's tax season. And because it's tax season, you definitely want to make sure you call our friend Tim Marquez at A Best Income Tax. Tim will relieve that tax burden from your shoulders. And also, if you have heating and air conditioning needs, you want to give our friend John Lopez a call. John is the best efficient heating and air conditioning at your service. Give John a call today. Hey, if you want our charter list, make sure you send me a text and I will send you the list and get you up to date. I would love to do that. 657 227 6459. We are filling up on all of our trips. All right, live from Island Fishing Tackle in Carson, California. Extra early here on Tuesday morning. It's great to be with you all. Stay tuned a little bit later today. We will have the uh, surf fishing seminar that I did over at Bass Pro Shops. We'll have that, and we'll also have a few more shorts with Captain Glenn Mueller reminiscing about the 1970s out of Redondo sport fishing. All right. Have a great Tuesday, and, of course, I hope to see you really, really soon. Oh, this is that new custom rod that people can win. Dave Dodge, Captain is, Dave Dodge, my buddy. Classic. How is that rod? I like it. Really? Yeah, this will really kill the bar perch for sure. Well, the biggest bar perch gets this puppy, Dave. So there you, go. you better get on it, man. I know. You were just telling me ghost shrimp catches everything. Ghost shrimp does catch everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, beautiful rod down here at Big Fish hey, Bait Rada. and Tackle. On the end of the rod. Rada on and a then, rod. And Joe just came in, too. And Joe. <laughs> oh, my God, everybody's here. Hey, Paulina, good to see you. Hey, What's happening? Steve. How are you? I'm excited because of this tournament. Well, it looks me too. fantastic. It's the second edition and my second year participating. Oh, so you've been in it? Yeah. Well, tell me something about the first year. Well, I love it. I mean, this is the first tournament about tuna that they made in Ensenada. Yeah. And wow, 
Uh, to be honest, the, the weather wasn't that good, but who cares, right? We are right. fisher, men's fisher. You gotta lady. go for it, right? Yeah, exactly, yes. everything. Sure. So I love it because it's two days. Yeah, it's 11 and 12. Yeah. And you go fishing both days. It's pretty exciting because the only species you can caught are tunas. Okay, so you're focused on the bluefin oh, yeah, tuna. Yeah, the bluefin tuna. W what is it? The biggest bluefin? Yeah, the biggest. Okay. The, the yeah, the heaviest, but yeah, yeah. the biggest. Right. Yes. Right. Um, prices are pretty cool to be honest because you have the option, so you can choose if you want catch or the price. As you can see here, the prices are spur fishing boats and two rods. Twenty-two thousand yes. dollars. Can you take the cash? Let's see. <laughs> you take the boat or the cab. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. And well, yeah, last year I participated because I have a team with my mom. It's Juanito's sports fishing, right. as you see here. Do I have a hat on this? Yeah, you Juanito's? do. Wow, yeah, where'd I should. get that? <laughs> Shh, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and as I said, I mean, I didn't have have a lot of luck to be honest because I didn't cut the biggest one yeah but I love the event yeah I mean the first day when you have to register the tent the tent yeah the registered inscriptions you have their like a uh, little party let's say when you can meet all the anglers you have some beers and sodas some snacks sometimes they made fish tacos so so yeah yum so you can meet everyone right yeah but yeah it's pretty and then amazing you move into the 11th and 12th what do you do fish from Daybreak till sundown, kind of. I or? think the close hour was five or four p.m. Okay. Yeah, I know that on Sunday. I mean, the last day, the second day, uh, it closes before because it's the, the the ceremony. I mean, the. Yeah, is there a fiesta that night? Yeah, or? we have mariachi last year. Oh my god! Yeah, it's pretty cool. That sounds great. Yeah, fireworks, everything, prizes, uh, medals. So yeah. You feel pretty important there oh if you are not. Oh my God, I know. That sounds like so much fun. And it this is. year, it's May 10th, 11th, and 12th. Those are perfect times of the year. Th to be honest, for yes. Ensenada yes, because Blue of Pen. the weather, everything, the moons, yeah, everything's. Actually, I know that they do like kind of a report investigation to know when the moon, the ocean, and everything's cooperating to this be perfect yeah so that's why they choose this this date of course of course yes. I'm sure the moon phase is good and everything else what do you suggest to people out there the best way to get a big bluefin will you say trolling like a Mad Mac lure yeah uh, trolling yeah yeah trolling uh, these guys also like uh, like bait yeah but to be honest the the days that I have caught uh, tuna it's with uh, trolling yeah trolling and Mad Max yeah the bigger one I think it's 220 yeah yeah and Ensenada now, it's world class yes. with the blue fantina. Exactly. It's somewhere that people from around the world would literally want to come and fish. Yes, and more because, I mean, do you know that bluefin comes from Japan and they cross to Baja? And yeah, we're waiting this season all year. I can't wait. Yeah. And this tournament sounds great. And of course, people can get all the information they need, uh, they can get uh, they can find out more about the cost and everything else by going to www.bahabluefin.com, right? Yes, and also they have Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, everything. So you can contact them here or look up them for as Baja Bluefin. So my question is, are you and I going to compete against each other or are we going to be on the same team? You are in the same team with me, but you don't remember. <laughs> oh, I'm, am I? A... Yes. Oh, Juanitos. Yes. Yeah. Am We're... I fishing with you yeah, though? Yeah, you, well, my mom, and my captain. I didn't know that. Of course. Oh, I'm, well, a, I'm know, in the tournament. You know that, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me. All right, Paulina, this sounds like such a good time. You've got a lot of great sponsors. Yes. May 10th, 11th, and 12th. The Baja Bluefin Tournament in Sonata yes. 2024. Our second right? edition, and I think this year is going to be better than last year. Oh, I think it is too because uh, Team Juanitos is going to win. Of course. <laughs> I was sleeping last year, but this year, no. That sounds great. <laughs> Paulina, good to see you yeah, again. Thank you, Philippe. Thank you. Yes.
everybody. Welcome on board the Independence for the Freeman Adventures five-day trip. We're in an absolute ripper on the Yellowfin Tuna, so come along. We've got a great video for you and a great show. Join us right here on the Independence, five days in October 2023. Freeman Adventures on board the Independence. We are headed to the San Diego Bait Receivers to get loaded up with bait. Then we're going to snack on some delicious quesadillas, point our bow toward the 43. It should be fishing in about four hours. I can't wait to keep you in touch with all the latest. Thanks for joining us, my friends. Hey, welcome on board the Independence. Uh, we're only 40 miles from home, so the very same day that we have left, we're already looking around. There's been some sign of yellowfin tuna, Dorado on kelp patties, and so much more around here. Let's get the jigs in the water and see what we can come up with. All right, here we go. We're on a kelp here now, and fish are boiling. Nice Dorado. That's a good flathead. Really nice fish. Let's get down on deck. Check it out. It's starting to get color on this fish. Beautiful, nice gray Dorado. Seems like we've got one fish going on this kelp. That's it right now, but uh, this thing is finally starting to come to color. It's been quite a battle so far. On Good battle, huh? Check out this big, beautiful Dorado as it comes to gaff on board the Independence. These fish are so colorful, so good to eat. They're acrobatic and they grow as fast as any fish in the sea. In fact, you can measure their growth daily. Nice fish. Gorgeous Dorado, beautiful. Go on, Tim. Oh, little Mako. Small little Mako shark on the iron. The Independence crew made sure they released it safely as we started to move on and started to look for another kelp. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day two here on board the Independence. Our weather has laid down quite a bit. We are just getting rolling here. Some guys are putting jigs out. You see that is Tom right there. And man, that guy is a dedicated angler. Let me tell you that, all these boys. Good to see you guys. Good morning. Let's catch some fish. Beautiful sunrise, and we've got a bluefin tuna going right now. Light line seems to be the key. 25 pound floral working well. Good job. boy. Nice fish. The weather's pretty nice here so far as Greg hooks another fish, and the deckhand here on board the Independence gets ready to put the poker in it. Good job. Nice going. Better weather than day one and two fish on the boat. Let's go this find another Freeman one. reporting live from the Independence where we have been in an excellent yellowfin tuna bite. Fish in the 20 to 35 pound class yellowfin tuna and they are tough. Sometimes you'll have to drop down to 25 pound fluorocarbon. When the fish get a little bit finicky, you can drop down to a number four size circle hook also. We see fish boiling all around the boat right now. Indication that they are still here with us. And while we have had at least 12 fish going at one time it is slowed down into a long drift and a plunker style bite still lots of fish around change your baits find a good hot bait to start with change that bait regularly and drop the floor down if you have to been here live on the independence we are up over 60 yellow fin tuna been in a drift for six hours check it out all right nice fish beautiful man grant's gonna love that grant's one love it. all right cool Nice, James! Woo! Darn it. Beautiful! Nice fish, Michael! Yeah, let's go. Good job, nice boys. Nice fish. Beautiful! Good job! Nice job, boys! Woohoo! Nice fish! Good job! Tim! Woo! On another one! It has been a great day. 